Basic Appraisal Principles, page 65, chapter two, quiz. Number one, the appraisal process is formulated into two groups called A, definition and reporting, B, development and reconciling, C, development and reporting, or D, none of these. The answer is C, development and reporting. Number two, identification of assignment conditions occurs in which step of the appraisal process? A, definition of the problem, B, scope of work, C, data collection and analysis, or D, application of the approaches to value. The answer is A, definition of the problem. Number three, the intended use of the appraisal and its conclusions is identified in which step of the appraisal process? A, scope of work. B, definition of the problem. C, data collection and analysis. Or D, application of the approaches to value. The answer is B, definition of the problem. Number four. The appraiser has been asked to appraise a property based on an exterior only inspection, commonly referred to as a drive-by appraisal. In doing so, the appraiser is making A, a hypothetical condition, B, an extraordinary assumption, C, a jurisdictional exemption, or D, a supplemental standard. The answer is B, an extraordinary assumption. Number five, which of the following is considered a possible approach to value? A, sales comparison. B, income capitalization. C, cost. Or D, all of these. The answer is D, all of these. Number six, an appraiser visits a property and acquires the following first-hand information. A sketch of the property, interior and exterior photographs of the property, measurements of the site, measurements of a property's improvements, notes about condition of the site and its improvements, and notes about the quality of a property and its improvements. These are all examples of A, primary data, B, secondary data, C, personal data, or D, third-party data. The answer is A, primary data. Number seven, an appraisal report can be communicated a orally b written c both of these or d neither of these the answer is c both of these in regards to orally and written number eight using the data gathered in the first three steps of the appraisal process who makes the final decision on which approach to value will provide the most credible results? A, intended user, B, appraiser, C, client, or D, lender? The answer is B, appraiser. Number nine, the final step in the appraisal process is 
A, reconciliation of value indications and final opinion of value. B, a report of defined value opinions. C, data collection and analysis. Or D, the scope of work. The answer is B, a report of defined value opinions. Number 10, demographics, income levels, population, land use plans, and wetland studies for a specific market are all examples of A, tertiary data, tertiary data, B, specific data, C, subject data, or D, general data. The answer is D, general data. Page 66 was just the chapter two quiz answers.